Good morning to all. Welcome to the Diamond Group of Instructions in the JSTAC online classes. Today's class, Biotechnology Applications. Yesterday we have done Biotechnology Principles and Processes. So, from these Biotechnology Principles and Processes and Applications, uh, two, two, three important, uh, three questions will be drawn from, from the every aptitude exams of Biology. So, better to uh, give a preference for the biotechnology applications in the and biotechnology principles that is processing the common DNA technology and biotechnology applications that plant in animals and plant in plants. See now that some of the previous important questions are question number one select the interest statement RNA I silencing takes place in all eukaryotic organisms a method of cellular defense RNA I requires silence mRNA binding to complementary synthesis and DNA molecule. Complementary nucleic acid could be formed mobile genetic elements where all as transposons. TA plasmids with nematode specific genes has been used in RNA I. The concept of these uh, uh, RNA interferons I refer as interferons. So different types of interference are their presence in the nature, so that those of they can cause the diseases and those of the interference will be going to get from the nematodes, so the nematodes will be going to pass the diseases in the plants and animals. So here one of the nematode that all that is meloidogen. Information. So, one of the gene of meloid in Indonesia can cause the disease into the tobacco plants. So, those are the tobacco plants that can get resistance or they will go to get the resistance into the RNA or meloid in Indonesia in the process of RNA in the plants of mRNA cells. So, you know those are the concepts. In that concept, question was made. So, RNA I. Silencing takes place in all organic organisms, the method of cellular defense. Yes, these are the RNA, I are RNA interferons. It is a takes place in all eukaryotic organisms only by the process of cellular defense mechanism. So, you know the cellular defense mechanism is uh, it, uh, cell can protect itself uh, from the nematodes. So, RNA interference will take place in the all eukaryotic cells, the eukaryotic cells are eukaryotic organisms. And RNA I requires silencing of mRNA binding complementary single standard DNA. Mm -hmm. So, they given as a formation of these RNA I, that is, we are also called as mRNA silencing. Nematode specific gene can produce into the two RNAs, those are sense RNA and antisense RNA. The sense RNA and antisense RNA, the antisense RNA will be known to binding or complementary and due into the double standard RNA. So they depend as a double a single standard DNA. Here RNA I requires the silencing of mRNA binding the complementary of the single standard mRNA to form the double standard RNA. So this is the one mRNA. And this is the antisense mRNA. So they can form into the double standard mRNA. So by the formation of double standard RNA, they can prevent the synthesis of human. Translation and action will become prevented. Silencing of the mRNA will become transmitted. And so here they given as a single standard DNA in that statement, it is, it is maybe two. And after three, complementary nucleic acids would be from mobile genetic element with all us transposons. Yes, complementary here, yeah. complementary antisense strand it was formed from the complementary anti antisense strand it was formed from the nematode specific gene. So now these are the nematode specific genes that produce the double standard mRNA so out of the double standard mRNA one of the mRNA can move and one <coughs> form is the Complementary double strand RNA. So now these are the mRNA these we call as a transposon, otherwise they are also called as mobile genetic material. The mobile genetic material is a mRNA only, it is found on the nematode species. 
and option four. A classmate the nematode specific gene has been used in RNA. Yes, these are the nematode specific gene we have introduced into the plant body of tobacco. We are going to use into the vector. The vector is a T I plus B. So these are the T I plus B are the special plus B which is known collected from the Arthrobacterium facial bacteria. It can process the Trombolysis in the right of hand. From these are the T I plus B we are going to modify it and we can handle the vector or vector similar plants in the genes in a plant. So T I plus B we are going to do. So what they are doing? What are the options are they doing? Regarding about the RNA in the plants. Here, option two, RNA requires silencing of mRNA by binding complementary single stranded DNA molecule. It's not a single stranded DNA molecule, it's a single stranded RNA molecule to form the double stranded mRNA to prevent the protein synthesis. That is it. So, it has statement is this next question and about 99% of all existing transient animals are. See now, transient animals are the Animals they are used for the detecting of the development of the organisms when we are going to inject it, when we are going to add it, uh, when we are going to give it to the new medicines. How the new medicines will be known developed, what is the work on the of the animals, uh, what is the work of the animals will be known first we are going to test it into the trinity animals. Trinity animals are means, means are the trinity animals are first we want to know for our convenient purpose. Uh, for our for our useful purpose, we are going to create it into the new we are created a new variety of the organisms and these are the organisms are huh? these organisms genetic sequence we know so we are going to create the new animals that new animals are. Huh? They are, the new animals are created for the, our convenient purpose or our useful purpose and those are the animal gene sequences of the human. So the type of animals are helpful for the and human beings. So such type of the modified animals only we call as transgenic animals. So here, yeah, uh, why these are the primate animals are they are going to use? For the, these primate animals are they are going to use for the multiple purpose, many purposes. To getting our food, to getting our good medicines, to getting our the, to study about the diseases, how those are the diseases will be going to pass, and how we are going to cure the diseases. Those all are nowadays those are the COVID 19 going on. So we have to create a new vaccine. So how is our vaccine when you are going to test it into the first some of the animals? Those are the animals, uh, that is uh, mice and monkeys and uh, finally, we have given to the vaccine into the human. So, like that, so we have test the new vaccine or new medicine. How it will be going to work and what the uh, problems are going on by taking out the medicine. Those so all are will be going to study by the testing into the by giving into the primary animals or the organisms. Those are the primary animals or the organisms are the primary animals. We are the these animals are we are going to create it for our purpose. So, 95% of the all existing primate animals are options are given as rabbits, pigs, cows, and mice. So, in the nature, 95% of the all mice or all the rats will be grown to primate animals only. Means, first a drug we are not tested into the animal, that animal is a mice only, so that's why 95% of the all existing animal animals in the nature of the mice only. And the next question, how many varieties of rice have been estimated to be present in India? So this concept will be studied at a bio patent. At the time of the bio patent, on a basmati rice man was done by the US company, it was stated in the US company, but basically uh, these are the basmati rice of belonging to our country. So, uh, how many varieties of rice it will be known to estimate or those are present in India? So, we know that, so India is uh, contained as many different types of rice varieties. So, these are the many different types of rice varieties of the rice, sizes, and the aroma and flavor. 
So those all of the different types of rice varieties are estimated in the form of two lakhs. So two lakhs rice varieties are available in India. So but even though the presence of two lakhs rice varieties in India, we are not have a fatal fight and an impassment of rice. So then that again the concept of a biofilter you will be get the uh, different varieties of rice and all. Uh, next question. Which step to prove to be the main challenging obstacle in the production of human insulin by genetic engineering? So human insulin. Insulin is required for the all human beings to control the sugar levels in blood. So now this insulin previously we have been extracted from the animals that insulin will be process among the allergies so that's why we are going to avoid to get another insulin from the uh, animals. So artificially created uh, we are going to take in nowadays insulin in the form of a medicine regularly, regularly to control the sugar levels in blood. So now these are the insulin what is the insulin we are going to take in nowadays those are all the insulin it will be going to create it artificially. So uh, by the creation of artificial insulin so what is the major critical step? So uh, generally insulin is uh, having three chains A chain, B chain and C chain. So these three chains contain all the insulin we call as a pro-insulin. And these are the pro-insulin converted into the active insulin. So the difference between the pro-insulin and active insulin is so these are the A, B, C chains will be going to connect it together that is called as a pro-insulin. So in this are the pro-insulin, it was converted into the active insulin by the loss of by the removing of. So active insulin and pro-insulin major difference is it is pro-insulin and active insulin. The pro-insulin C chain was present. In active insulin A and B chains only they are connected together with the sulfur bonds. So this is the active insulin A and B chains are there. So to the formation of after the creation of artificial insulin, which is the major critical step is option A, removal of C peptide from the active insulin. So actually the C peptide is present in a pro insulin. So removal of the C peptide from the pro insulin it should be but they given as an active insulin. And protein insulin assembled into the mature form. So now, at the time of the creation of the artificial insulin, so these insulin will be cut into the three pieces, into the A chain, B chain and C chain, A, B and C. So we don't want the C chain, so that's why we are going to remove directly. And A and B chains will be grown to insert in a plasmids and these are A and B chain number will be going to multiply and later these are the A and B chain will be going to combine together. So, here, getting insulin assembled to a mature form. So, previously, it was present in a pro insulin inactive form. So, after the cutting of the two, uh, three pieces of the pro insulin, they get formed into three pieces out of the three pieces. C peptide we are going to remove. A and B chains are we are going to multiply by the using of the plasma later. And the number of the A and B chains will be going to create and produce many. These A and B chains will be going to assemble. So, the critical are major step in a insulin preparation production is attachment of the A and B chains otherwise binding of the A and B chain. So an option C is given as adding C peptide to pro insulin. So adding C peptide to pro insulin is uh, pro insulin already contained as a C peptide bond, C, C peptide chain so, uh, and splitting A and B chains. Splitting of the A and B chains is also very easy by using of the A and B chains we are going to remove. But major and the difficult step in an insulin production it is binding of the or combining of the or assembling of the A and B chains. So answer is yes. next question. Match the following column one with the insects at the can be protected from their food and proteins in column two. So here they given as a column one and column two. So here Column 1, they given as the proteins, and column 2, those are the insects they can put it into the 
the space uh, they have to pull in the specific proteins that are protected by specific insects. So now here problem one try one A C try one A B and B D dot C C are there. So in the problem two examples are worms, beetles, and worm. So here they they given as a try genes. The try genes are we call as a crystalline genes. The crystalline genes are extracted from the Bacillus thuringiensis Bt bacteria. So here from these are the Bt bacteria. Crystalline genes are will be known extracted and the crystalline genes are and these from the Bt bacteria Bacillus thuringiensis bacteria crystalline genes will be known to synthesize and these crystalline genes will be known to present in the form of inactive condition. Are these crystalline genes are they produce the crystalline proteins? They are present in inactive condition. They are able to enter into the insulin. Uh, so the insect. So in the insect, it doesn't have alkaline pH. So due to the presence of alkaline pH, the inactive, inactive protoxins are converted into the active. So crystalline genes are they produce as a crystalline proteins. Those are crystalline genes and crystalline proteins are they present as inactive proteins. The inactive proteins are then converted into active by the providing of alkaline pH. So now these are the crystalline genes are they can protected or they can rest delay uh, resistance into the some specific insects. So those are crystalline uh, tri one is the tri one is genes are they can give a resistance to the proton bolworms and tri one is they can give a resistance into the form of water and PT or zinc genes. They are very resistant to the insects. So there is are that insects will be most comfortable with the presence of these specific type of the genes or they can produce the other proteins, crystal proteins. So the concept is we go get into the back uh, BT total, bachelor's remedies is uh, uh, total plant we are going to be created by the using of white analogy. So answers of this A1 and B3. A1 and B3 is a A1 answer is Next question. Which protein would you like to be produced by genetic engineering as cure for disease such as a emphysema? So here we are not created into the a new animals, those are animals are known as transgenic animals. The transgenic animals are they are used for the production of useful products. Production of useful products. Tranny animals are used for production of useful products. Or uh, they are also called as a biological products. So then take into the example. So we are going to introduce a gene into a bacteria or uh, any one of the organism. And these are the bacteria or these are genome will be going to change and will produce into the protein. The protein is required for the human beings to cure in our diseases. So like here, which protein would you like to be produced by genetic engineering is as cured for disease such as emphysema. So in the same concept, we are going to introduce into the a gene into the bacteria or organism. The genome of the bacteria or organism will change. So now the bacteria or organism is called as transgenic animal or transgenic organism. It can produce the protein. The protein it is useful for the useful for the human beings. So in the same way, one of the transgenic animal it will be done to or transgenic organisms will be done to cure the disease of emphysema. So for the curing the disease of emphysema, which protein is required? So it's a question on the option A, alpha antitrypsin, antitrypsin, trimotrypsin, all of these. To the curing of the disease of emphysema, transient animals use as a bio or to, uh, they can use for the production of bio, that is bio, they can use for the production of food. Useful products for human beings to cure in other diseases that it goes up as biological products. And here, to the curing of the disease of emphysema, 
we need it and we can produce the alpha anti trypsin protein so that alpha anti trypsin protein is to the this is of maxima those are the alpha anti trypsin protein is created or produced from the animals the animals are the last animals and the next question dna probe is used in the treatment of dna probe so you know probes are available to them as a very active molecules so those are the dna probe is used in the treatment of so we are going to use the treatment of dna molecules options of dna d or b yes we are going to use it as a dna probe in a dna so that it in a dna fingerprint process that is in a hybridization method in a dna fingerprint in a prime spot what is the dna sample drawn the dna samples are going to be going to separated and treated into the alcohol so the double strand dna double strand dna is converted into single strand dna and now these are the single strand dna for the single strand dna we are adding to a probe and the single strand dna particularly they can bind and form a double strand dna so now we can easily identify we can easily get the particular person dna that's what of by using the dna probe we can identify the criminals that is the dna fingerprint mechanism detecting of pathogenic bacteria and here detecting of the pathogenic bacteria you see here all of the diseases comes from microorganisms so now this is the cell the microorganism can enter into the cell microorganism can enter means its genetic material also can enter so if the genetic material can enter means the genetic material of these microorganism can cause a disease so we have to identify these are the genetic material of the microorganism or the genetic subtype of disease process that it may be present in the bacteria or it was present in the organism or not by the using of the probes probes are the radioactive molecules those are present in the form of complementary sequences of the particular they are present in complementary sequences of the particular dna molecules so now at the time of these probes are they can form a double stranded and these probes are they don't bind and they can form a double stranded we can easily detect the disease process genes present in the organisms and option c metal genetics to find whether a person carry gene or not the same way so here the person is process to carry the gene or not if the person process uh, if the person if uh, he was facing a problem from the microorganism he have a disease so the disease is developed from the microorganism such so type of microorganism and the genetic material of the microorganism it was present or not that is we can easily identify the process or by using the dna probes dna probes are the single stranded radio active molecules radio active strand so with for the detecting of the criminals and for the detecting of the pathogens and for the detecting of the any disease process genetic material into the organism we can use as a dna probe so that's why dna probes are used for all of them and next question a genetically engineered microorganism used successfully in the bioremediation of oil spill is species of so bioremediation means uh, it's a mechanism to the removing of waste materials from the nature so that removing of the waste materials from the nature by the using of microorganisms it is called as a bioremediation means uh, by the using of microorganisms it was after so nowadays by the process of biotechnology we are going to change the gene sequence of the bacteria cells gene sequence of the microorganisms those are the modified organisms are they can use for the cleaning they can use for the removing of the waste materials so one of the strand in bacteria otherwise one of the microorganisms will be going to use for the removing of oils the bacteria the microorganism species they are asked. so they are as pseudomonas Trichoderma NPV bacillus. So bacillus to the genesis is bacteria is going to be a big important to the production of cyanide plants. NPV nucleopolyhydrovirus. So those are used to the controlling of arthropods. 
so we can use as a biocontrolling agent and trichoderma trichoderma species are also used in the controlling of different types of the root causes diseases but pseudomonas pseudomonas cutida one of the bacteria is a clonal bacteria and it was artificially synthesized bacteria this bacteria major function is it can trans or it can degrade or it can remove the oils so answer is a next question introduction of food plants developed by genetic engineering is not a desirable because see here so we have we are going to take into the transgenic plants otherwise genetically modified plants so by the creation of the genetically modified plants by the process of genetic engineering it's not desirable factors means in these are the genetic engineering are genetically modified plants are transgenic plants which are the character is not suitable so these products are less tasty as compared to the already existing products yes what are the uh, products are they are produced by the process of genetic engineering or by the process of uh, biotechnology in elaborate conditions uh, those all of the products are we are called as the fruits comparing to the normal previous fruits and normal previous plants those are the products are less tasty if in the in the nature available in a different types of the uh, fruits those are the hybrid fruits so when we are going to compare those are the hybrid fruits as a java fruits or uh, uh, those are the apple fruits so apple and the java fruits are those are climbing plants then nowadays those are fruits will be don't produce in the continuous seasons actually those fruits are they have to produce in a particular season but by the process of bio biotechnology they are not producing as a fruits in it through the year so now such type of fruits are they are going to compare into the normal fruits the fruits are which are the fruits are that are developed by the process of genetic engineering those are having less tasty and option b economy of developing countries may increase yes by the increase by the why they are going to performing of the trying plants here Transient plants, sir, they have to produce a much yield. Transient plants, sir, they have a disease resistance. Transient plants, sir, they can survive in the cold climatic conditions, sir. If those type of things are seen into the plants, autonomy of the country will be going to increase. Yes, autonomy of the developing countries may increase, and this method is possible. Total performing the genetic engineering. Are by the analogy transient plant they have created means it is possibly compared to the and option D there is a danger of introduction of viruses and toxins with introduced crop so by the process of genetic engineering of the uh, transient plants we are going to create it into the new variety of plant that is resistant to the viruses and toxins and the all climate conditions. By the process of transgenic engineering, we are not created into the viruses, plants, viruses and toxins into the nature or into the crop. So, in that statement is D. Yes. Next question. Which one of the following is a correct statement? Here, yeah. option A. BD in bit cotton indicates that a genetically modified organism produced through a biotechnology. In a BD cotton, the B represent as a bacillus thuringogenesis. B T in a B T order indicates as a bacillus thuringogenesis. Is a genetically modified organism produced through the biotechnology. So here, you know, if this B T order is completely considered as genetically modified organism. But question was asking as in that B T order, the B T says as a the B T represents as a bacillus to bring this bacteria is a normal bacteria only. It is not a necessarily modified bacteria. When these are the B T combined into the product plant, now the product plant is a necessarily modified. Question was asking in that B T order, the B T represents as a the B T represents as a bacillus to bring this bacteria. And option B. Somatic hybridization involves the fusion of two complete plants as carrying desired genes. Somatic hybridization is 
application of fish culture in this two plant cells the cell wall is removed out means we call as protoplasm two plant cells protoplasm they are removed out here they remain as a tomato as variation involve the fusion of two complete plant cells here it's not a complete plant cell it's a protoplasm only so means cytoplasm with the nucleus it will grow as this we have removed out the cell wall by using the cellulase enzymes so only the two protoplasms are will be fused fused and by the fusion of these two protoplasms they can produce the hybrid variety so here at the time of fusion of two protoplasm we are getting an incomplete cells otherwise the cells have in side uh, the cytoplasm nucleus and the plasma membrane excluding of the cell wall incomplete cell wall is the given as a complete they remain as complete plant cell is incomplete plant cells and option c the anti coagulant giving is being produced from plantain grass plantain Brachyta napastis. Kiruri is an anti-coagulant agent. Anti-coagulant agent. So the anti-coagulant agent will be grown to develop by the kiruri. These are the anti-coagulant agent will be developed by the process of by technology. Me, brachyta napastis. Brachyta napas. So. We are going to introduce the anticoagulant agent genes into the brassica plant. The brassica plant will give the seeds, and from the seeds, we will be doing extracting the kiruvin. Yes, the term anticoagulant kiruvin is being produced from the plant brassica napas. The plant plant is a brassica napas plant, and from the seeds, we will be extracting the anticoagulant agent. And after this. Flower sour variety of tomato has enhanced the production of ethylene, which improves taste. Flower sour tomato. So this is also the new variety of tomato. So this new variety of the tomato, it is ripening of the of this tomato ripening period will be ripening period will be grown to. Increase the means uh, the time period of the tomato uh, ripening. It will be grown to increase the prolonging of the ripening period. So generally, after the extracting of the tomatoes from the plant body, in two two or three days, this tomato plants or uh, fruits will be grown to ripen, and the orange or green color tomatoes are grown to be ready. So by the process of by technology. We have to increase the market period of the tomato. So, in this of the tomato, by the variety of the tomato, it is a flower sour. By using of polyglutinols, at the time of ripening, at the time of ripening of the tomato fruit, so polyglutinols enzyme will be grown to activate. By the process of by the technology, we are going to prevent that. Enzyme activity means we have to delay the activity of the polyglutinol enzyme. Automatically, ripening of the tomato fruit will be not to delay. So, in, instead of that, they remain as a flower sour variety of the tomato has enhanced into the production of ethylene. In this of the production, in this of the flower sour tomato, ethylene production will not take place and it's not improve the taste. So, in the flower sour tomato, market period will not increase, delaying the other ripening. Fruit of the matter will take place by the inactivation or by the late activation of the enzyme of polyglutinol. Answer is out of the given options. We have to identify the correct statement. The correct statement is C. Anti-coagulant agent, anti-coagulant agent, because it was selected from the plant, plant grassland apples.